this is a simple exercise that will help you learn to use Illustrator's pen tool in order to improve drawing with a mouse. So if you're used to drawing with a stylus and you tend to use a paintbrush tool, I'm just going to draw the letter S here. And doing that with, with a mouse is sometimes really difficult. And luckily, luckily with Illustrator, you're able to go in and edit and adjust. Um, but if you look here, there's probably about 15 anchor points on this. So editing it can get to be a little tedious and, and even sloppy. So there's a better way to do this. If you're working with a three button mouse, use this pen tool. All right. And, and you watch, this is different than sketching. This is more like constructing and plotting coordinates. So I'm going to be clicking and dragging, which is also a very different way of, of drawing. So I'm going to click and drag and add anchor points around this curve where I'm a little more in control and, and able to be precise. And now I was a little off there. I'm kind of doing that on purpose. But then you can use the direct selection tool to adjust and edit. And instead of trying to edit 15 to 20 paths, here I've made the letter S using just seven. Oops, oops, I'm a little wonky there. All right, so here's a way that you can practice using this tool just to warm up and get ready with it because it does do a few things. Um, you can you can pen tool, you can add an anchor point tool, or you can delete an anchor point. Those are pretty obvious. And then there's also this convert anchor point tool. And that's what I'm going to show you how to use now. So with the pen tool, do this as an exercise, warming up. Make a diamond shape just by clicking. Just four clicks. And the last click, when you get your cursor close, you'll see there's a little circle below the the cursor that shows that you're going to close that shape. All right. Now I'm going to draw another diamond shape. I'm going to show four anchor points in the same orientation, but this time instead of just clicking and getting corners, I'm going to click and drag. And this brings out a little handlebar, clicking and dragging. Now I want to keep this vertical, and it tells you when you're snapping in. And then this one I want to keep horizontal. So clicking and dragging, you don't want to be too drastic with the handlebars. Less is more with this tool, which is a beautiful thing about it. All right, so now we've got one shape that's made with corners, one shape that's made with curves. And if we want to convert these, we just do the action that we would have done, would have done if we wanted a corner. So I'm going to click on a curve, just clicking clicking again, and this is turning those curves into corners. And so if I want to turn a corner into a curve, I'm clicking and dragging just as I would have done this operation on the pen tool. All right, so there you have it. Practice this a few times, maybe warm up when you're getting ready to do some drawing. Um, scan a, a drawing of your own and try tracing it too. Uh, warming up with this will really help you to get used to working with anchor points and curves and lines and really shows the power of what vector art is really about. So have fun, enjoy.